Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about the latest build of Windows 10 which appeared not even, you know, a little less, well, actually a little more than a week after the previous build. So we jumped from 10122 to 10130. Once again, this is a fast ring update, so it means that you have to be in the fast lane of updates in Windows 10 to get the latest build. Of course, because it's fast lane only, no image files, and that is a problem. I think Microsoft should always relieve Im release image files of their Windows 10 operating system uh, to install from scratch if we want to. The install went uh, well until I had once again a blue screen with an error message, but it recovered the install and continued uh, correctly for the rest of the time. And, you know, the operating system works well. Um, what's different from 10130 to 10122? Actually, not really much. Um, Microsoft did say that, you know, we'll see less and less differences between the builds because they are concentrating on fixing bugs. And now that we know that July 29th is the release date of Windows 10, uh, I think they're going to work even harder to fix all the bugs. And but talking of bugs, I've got one that I've seen a few times. And after the upgrade is that my driver, my graphic display driver, which is an Intel card here, actually has a problem where it sometimes crashes. And uh, But you know what? Today, I didn't have any problems. So I don't know if it kind of magically got fixed by some update by Microsoft, but it seems to be better today. Um, apart from that, of course, the same thing, you know, we now have the desktop type menu with the uh, tiles on the right and the uh, list of uh, recently used programs and apps. They've tweaked a little bit the power button because before you had a lot of options here uh, in that little dark area and now they just removed that and put back just power. So uh, they're really tweaking along with this and trying to find the best possible start menu. Of course, if you go into tablet mode, your computer's um, start menu becomes full screen for touch tablets with a little hamburger menu. They've added that little blue dot here to kind of show everyone there's a hamburger menu here. Uh, so that's pretty much what it looks like. Uh, for those with touch devices, they've added also a swipe from the top of the screen down option that was not available um, before for different options in apps. So that's a welcome move because I think there's still a need for a better mode of um, for the touch devices and so on. Uh, apart from that, we have, of course, the same Cortana browser that, um, not Cortana, Project um, Spartan, sorry, I mixed up the names here. Project Spartan browser, and uh, that actually does not have any information about, uh, you know, being anything else than Project Spartan. They still call it Microsoft Edge, and actually when you start it for the first time, they say, welcome to Microsoft Edge, but it's still called Project Spartan, and I think this needs to be fixed. The Microsoft Store, pretty much the same. Still a lot of crappy stuff. I was doing a little searches, and there's still a lot to clean up in there and I think they're working on it but it's not there yet. Uh, they've really tweaked the icons now and we have icons that are a little less colorful, a little more functional. I really hope that Microsoft you know puts colors in the address and toolbars at the top. I think that would be nice um, to you know have that. But apart from that you know it's pretty much the same build that we had in 10122. Uh, it's crisp, it's fast, it works well. Um, you know, apart from the graphic driver that had a bit of problems, um, they've, you know, mostly fixed bugs. Apparently one of the bugs they fixed is the uh, Project Spartan browser that was uh, freezing or crashing when you had an AMD uh, Radeon driver for your graphics and uh, apparently that's fixed. Apart from that, it's uh, pretty fast. I think we're getting slowly to what this will be 
as the final product for Windows 10. Not totally final because Microsoft did say that it's gonna be, uh, you know, kind of work in progress all all, all the time. And um, no crashes. Um, does seem to be pretty stable. I've used it for three days because this was released on May 29th or June 1st. Pretty intensively. Not had any problems except for the graphics driver on the first day. But I haven't had any since the first day, so uh, that's interesting. So we are at build 10130, and we're now less than two months away as the official release date for Windows 10 to uh, manufacturers and consumers is July 29th. And I'll be posting a video about that because there's a few things uh, I'm going to talk about also in this update. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you'd like to know, let us know.